Good morning, it's Allie from Allie V Love and today I am going to show you what I eat in a day and kind of what I'm doing for work slash classes. I graduated last year, 2015, with my associate's degree in fashion merchandising. I'm doing YouTube, as you guys know, I am blogging, which I need to get back into. I am also doing Amazon. I have something else really fun that I'm doing. And I am also starting my ebook, which is super exciting. The classes that I'm taking online are from Future Learn. And today I am doing one of the classes on dyslexia and learning a foreign language. If you guys didn't know, I think I did a video on it. I have dyslexia. Um, I think I was diagnosed around second or third grade. And I also have an auto. I also have the auditory processing as well. So it can make it kind of difficult to do my studies, especially with the short term memory, if you guys are familiar with dyslexia and kind of what happens with dyslexia. So I'm learning how to man hello. <laughs> I'm learning how to manage the dyslexia when teaching myself a foreign language. I am using Duolingo and I have been learning Italian and they also have an intro to Italian class on um, Future Learn as well. There are seven classes that I would like to take this month which is quite a bit. Normally, if I was in regular school, I'd be taking about four classes. So seven classes is, is going to be a lot to handle, but I'm really trying to stay on top of learning still, even though I'm not in your typical college. Now, for this for Future Learn, it, everything is free, but if you want to get the certificate at the end, that says that you've taken the course and you've reached all the requirements for the course, then you can do that. So far I haven't done that, but I might do that with a few of these classes. <clears throat> I also wanted to talk a little bit about what I do for studying and stuff like that with dyslexia. Today I was reading, as you guys just saw, and I use a Brain Power Study Music for Dyslexia, he Dyslexia Healing and Concentration. So I will listen to that while I'm reading. We'll go back to this. While I am reading and it is kind of music that once I have it in my head, I am listening to it and then I kind of tune out everything and focus directly on what I'm reading, which is really awesome. This is part of a book that I think I want to get because they really understand what dyslexia is and they have some great topics that they talk about in this and it's really helpful especially when you have dyslexia to learn how to help yourself through. I learned a lot during school how to kind of get myself through the day and there's a lot of things that I didn't know um, that I'm learning about. One thing is with lighting, sometimes lighting can be super distract distracting temperature and it's really funny because these are things that I've always had an issue with but never knew that it was related to dyslexia. And of course there are different forms of dyslexia and specific le um, learning disabilities or I think it's called SPLD. There's quite a variety of them and they all vary. Even dyslexia varies quite a bit. So it's really interesting to learn about people who have dyslexia and they have a lot of people come on and talk about the type of dys talk about the difficulties that they had through school with dyslexia and especially with learning another language which I find extremely helpful. So today I'm doing that. Let me take a look at my new planner which I will be doing a video on soon. I am doing that and 
and it looks like a cultural cultural it looks like it's the developing cultural um intel something like that i have to look back but i'm doing something on cultures today as well i have to finish reading this i'm on page 10 out of 21 i have taken my little break and i am now chowing down on my gorgeous look at that mm -hmm. watermelon so i was watching durian rider before if this camera will focus onto that on YouTube. It's watching Durian Rider. I have a few videos that I'd like to watch before I continue this. And I also opened my Adobe Premiere Elements 12 because that's where I am going to do my editing on for the business trip that I went on. I think I finished the body care one if I can remember correctly let's see if that's the one yes so on my youtube channel okay as you can kind of see it's being a little weird with focusing but I have a body care and makeup essentials for business trip and that's an alley be love and oops don't go to Paris why not? Don't go to LA. Don't go to Tokyo. Live. What? If I want to go to Paris or Tokyo? <laughs> um, then the, and then the other one is the Capsule Business Trip Wardrobe FSW, which is my new channel, Forever Seeking Wanderlust. So if you guys haven't subscribed, you can go down and actually find it on my channel, Alley V Love. If you go to the homepage, you can see... Um, Forever Seeking Wonderless on the side of added channels. I like a cold or something. My nose is so stuffy. Um, and I also recently did... I also recently did the Workday and Nice Cream recipe, which I really liked the way that video turned out. So if you guys want to continue seeing my trip, it should be on both Forever Seeking Wonderlust and my Ali V Love channel. I would really appreciate you guys stopping over to Forever Seeking Wonderlust and subscribing so I can just keep the, the videos that I really want to keep on that channel. I also have Forever Seeking Wonderlust on my Instagram as well, which is really exciting. That is a travel and um, travel and uh, ethical wardrobe type Instagram. So if you want to come over and check that out, that would be awesome as well. I will see you in a little bit.